Hello, today I want to show how to use a simple command line tool to monitor the serial port and get feedback about the programs running on your ESP32 dev board. This command line tool is called PicoCom. Uh, it's very general and flexible, runs in your command line terminal. What's involved in this project? So we're using a PicoCom CLI. I have links to the man page and I'll have more links in the description below on how to get information and download links. Uh, my ESP32 board I'm using is the WROOM32D. That's what you see uh, shown below in the bottom right. Um, if you notice, there's no wiring. We're just going to load a program onto it and watch the data on the serial port. Okay, so let's jump into the project demo. So the project demo is pretty simple, and here's how you can do the demo yourself. You start off by cloning this project that I'm showing here with the command. Um, again, I'll have links to this in the description. Uh, once you do that, you navigate into Project 02 subdirectory, and when you do that, you'll see what you see here on the left. This is a short program. It only has one source file, main.go. And if you look in it, you'll see it's very straightforward. We import the time package. <clears throat> in the main function, we do a print line, hello world. So that'll, do, that'll be printed once when the program starts. Uh, the print line is directed back to the serial port. So that's what we're going to hope to see in our PicoCom display. So I'll take the command, the time you go command, and explain a little bit about what it does. So this is the time you go compiler. We're telling it to build the program and flash it onto our board. The target board that we're using is specified here with the target flag, ESP32 core board V2. I know this because that's what I have selected if you look in the IDE below. Uh, it is possible that if you have a different board, you can click this, go select uh, your other board, like a DigiSpark, Arduino, whatever you have. Um, that would show down below, and that's an easy way to know what's expected here on the target. Uh, typically, that's all you need, and it'll find the port, but if you have multiple ports, you might have to give it a hint. Um, so I've specified the port uh, to my board here. Okay, I'm going <coughs> to hit enter and at the same time I need to press the the button on the board for it to accept so here we go all right all right so our program is loaded onto the board uh, let's clear a screen and actually uh, we don't need to look at the board anymore it's not doing anything for us Next, let's use the PicoCom CLI, and we'll put this in the command line and explain the command again. Okay, so here's the PicoCom command. Uh, we specify the baud rate that we want to communicate to the serial board. This uh, uh, 15, 200 seems to be the standard, but I'm sure it can vary. This is the port, and that's the same that we saw before. Um, when we flashed on the tiny go command. Okay, so now when I press this, we saw a quick uh, menu, which is important because it's hard to get out of this terminal. Um, but you notice it said hello world, which is the beginning of our program. And then it's looping, you know, every second and saying hi. So that's it. There's one more thing you'll need to know. This PicoCom uh, is hard to get out of if, unless you know the secret secrets, the secret sequence of events. So to get out, you'll need to press Control A to bring up the menu and Control X to exit. So you can do Control A, Control X, and it's done.